everyone, I'm Megan and I'm so excited to give you guys a little playroom tour. So this is pretty much the playroom of my dreams <laughs> that I could design in our apartment. We have a 1200 square foot apartment, so I feel like this is the perfect little playroom for our apartment. This is shared between two kids. So my six year old stepdaughter who's here with us part time and then also baby boy who is brewing and about to make an appearance. So this has been my project during a nesting <laughs> and I have had a lot of stuff pre-planned, pre-bought everything for the past couple months. So I'm so excited to see it brought to life and I'm so excited to show you guys how I've designed it. This is a loosely inspired Montessori style playroom. This is not strictly Montessori whatsoever, but I do plan on using a Montessori style approach with my son and I do have some Montessori style stuff for my stepdaughter, so I will show that as well. But Overall, very loosely inspired Montessori, mainly just for fun, and I'm very excited to show you guys. So starting out right here, this is the door right here, and that is a beautiful bow hanger that I made. <laughs> and trust me, that is not all the bows we have. This is my stepdaughter's bunk bed and like little play area. I'm just so obsessed with it. I got this really cute rainbow bed sheet at Target. It's kind of the boho organic rainbow new theme going on right now. I don't know, it's the latest trend. I love it, I think it's adorable. This is a pillow I got at Target um, probably a year ago. I got it for about $5. On the back it says good vibes and then it has the cutest little similar organic boho rainbow theme. Right here, we love pink in this house. <laughs> and so this is from Hobby Lobby, I believe. I'm not quite sure. I believe this was a gift, but I am obsessed and I love it. Right here, we have these signs. They will have little stuff like this come out, especially during back to school time right now. So I am going crazy, but I got this a year ago in a pack of three for $5 and I am obsessed and I've actually been keeping them until I made the playroom. <laughs> Not joking, so I've been harboring them for a year, so it's so exciting to put them up. Right here under the bunk bed, we have the play area. So my new favorite item under here is this Montessori style dollhouse. I am obsessed with it, it is so cute. Durable, long lasting, we love our wooden products, so I am loving it. It's also so much easier to take out from under here, move around, and just the accessibility with that is really great. I have some other little toys as well under here that are not Montessori, no big deal, super cute and really fun and enjoyable anyways. The toy box is just full of Barbies and LOL surprise, so I don't even need to get into that with you guys. This letter board I actually got for $1 a Dollar Tree, which is crazy because I swear I bought another one probably two years ago for like $15, $20. <laughs> But anyways, and so this says loving sister, joyful brother. So cute. Cute dinosaur hanging string is actually from Hobby Lobby. Here on the wall is the other sign that came in the pack of three for five dollars at Target. So cute. It just says you were my sunshine. And then right here we have our wooden play space. I got this cute mirror from Ikea for I think $5, which is so much more cheaper and much more durable, especially one that does not stick on the wall for our apartment. This play gym was a gift from our really good friends, so we are so appreciative of that and I'm so obsessed. This was on our baby registry and they happened to get it for us and I love it so much, so thank you, thank you to them. And if you look up, I got this really cute picture of all the planets from Target for $25 I believe, but it was on sale, but it is so cute. I just thought it was a nice little touch um, to this corner because it was just so plain up here and I don't want to stick too much on the walls, so I just have it propped in the corner and this is perfect for our apartment. The closet is right here. So this is an overview of this side of the room. I actually got these from flashcards from Target. So these are some dino ones. I actually had them bought and saved up for a while now. These are some animal and insect ones. Them up on some string, just to add a little bit of decor on the wall. This is just great little learning decor. This will be great when baby boy is sitting up and talking and walking and we can actually do these flashcards with him, but I just want to put some up on the wall so he can see them and be familiar with them for now another pack of really cute wall decor I got at Target three for five dollars like I said I harbored these for a long time so I don't think they have them anymore um, but you can still get similar stuff going on right now for the back to school collection that's gonna be going on throughout the entire summer here we have our bookshelf I got this at Ikea for I believe less than $20 
On here, I have some great Montessori style books. I have some normal books. I have some great Christian books. I have a whole bunch of different books. I just kind of shove them all on this bookshelf. So I may or may not get something that's a little bit bigger. There is another option at Ikea. I might upgrade, but we will have to see that in the upgraded playroom tour. <laughs> So right here, this is our Montessori shelf. This is actually great for baby boy once he starts crawling and sitting up and walking because he can reach the bottom and the top shelf eventually. This is actually one of my favorite items in the playroom. So when he's actually using these toys, because let's be honest, he won't be using these toys <laughs> for definitely a little bit. Start using them. I only plan on having two to three toys max on here, just some toys that he can reach. And then I will do toy rotation probably every two to three weeks, but we will definitely see how I end up doing our toe rotation and all of that in the future. For this wooden toy, I thrifted. I thrifted this one as well. This one I recently got at Ikea. And these are amazing wooden toys that I got for $3 a piece. I'm not joking. $3 a piece from Target. I got these cute little dinosaur storage bins for about three to five dollars a piece i forget and in here i just have some extra toys like i said these will be stored a little bit more better <laughs> once we're actually utilizing them for now they're just kind of for decoration a lot of the toys in here i got from target i have some magnet number letters i have some flash cards more wooden toys this was a gift um i think that's it in here but yeah, we will definitely be adding more toys as we are able to utilize them. Okay, so that is it for the Playroom Room Tour. I hope you guys enjoy. I definitely wanna do an updated one once Baby Boy is up and crawling and walking and moving around and we're able to utilize the toys more. Also, who knows, I might end up changing a couple things to accommodate us as we go. I don't know. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got some ideas for your playroom, especially if you're in an apartment and you're kind of tight on space. You don't wanna put too much on the wall, but you still wanna have a nice, area for your kiddos and i hope some of our montessori style toys also inspired you as well can't wait to make another video for you guys let me know if you have any requests in the comments below and thank you so much for watching bye